What is Orientalism? In its most general sense, Orientalism can be defined as the academic discipline that, that studies the languages and culture of the Orient, usually understood as meaning the Islamic countries of the Near and Middle East. The term has come to be associated mainly with the work of Edward Said, whose book titled Orientalism is one of the founding texts of postcolonial theory. Orientalism is analyzed by Said in terms reminiscent of Michel Foucault as a discourse formation originating in the work of British and French scholars from the late 18th century onwards. For Said, the development of Orientalism both coincides with and justifies the expansion of European colonialism, and studies of the language, anthropology, geography, and religions of the Orient combine to form a system of knowledge, or a grid that filters the East into the consciousness of the West. Orientalism is predicated upon an unquestioned belief in Western superiority and upon the conviction that, as the East cannot understand itself, the West must interpret it for both East and West. It is, therefore, a project designed to produce what Antonio Gramsci terms a hegemony, or a Western mode of thought which can dominate, structure, and have authority over the East. This is a system of representations forced upon the East by a set of references that deny it any history, culture, or identity of its own, and that inscribe it within Western ideological constructs. The master text of French Orientalism is provided by the 23 volumes of the description de Egypt produced by the scholars and scientists who accompanied Napoleon's army on the unsuccessful Egyptian expedition of 1793. Their exhaustive studies and survey of the country indicate an almost intuitive realization that military conquest alone does not guarantee dominance. It must be consolidated by knowledge, which is in itself a form of power. It must be noted that the almost mythical Orient constructed by Orientalism is a geographical space populated by individuals and races, who display essentialist characteristics and behavioral patterns that can be explained in terms of such notions as the Arab mind, or Muslim culture. Said's study of Orientalism, is no exercise in neutral historiography. He argues convincingly that both commonplace racist stereotypes and policymaking decisions assume the existence of an Arab psychology, or Arab mentality, and are still influenced by the discourse of Orientalism. In art history, Orientalism refers to a school of 19th-century French painting associated mainly with John Leon Jerome and Eugène Delacroix. The key work is the latter's women of Algiers in their apartment, which depicts a group of women in a luxuriously furnished harem. For the white male artist, the fascination of the subject is that he has the privilege of gazing for the first time at unveiled Algerian women who normally live in seclusion. Delacroix's brief visit to Algiers took place in 1832, or two years after the beginning of the French conquest of Algeria. The careful depiction of the rich fabrics in the room recalls the imagery of the sado-erotic death of Sardanapalus, which was painted before the Algiers trip. Tee women of Algiers are inscribed in a pre-existing dream of the Orient.